Another story that uh, comes to mind when I'm thinking about my childhood and and uh, family prayer is uh, I have a very distinct memory of prayer being a very active part of our home life. My dad uh, would have the family kneel around the uh, living room furniture and in the evening and and he would lead us in uh, family prayer and of course we we would have prayer time over our meals that extended way beyond thanking God for the food and uh, and then uh, I remember how we grew up in an atmosphere of depending upon God for everything and uh, uh, there were five of us kids and my folks did not have any medical insurance and very little money that they could spend taking us to the doctor every time we got sick and and you know we got everything we got the mumps the measles the chicken pox the whatever you know uh, cuts and bruises and and you know we would go to our parents and they would pray for us I remember many times my mother uh, would come in to get me up for school and I would be sick and so she'd go get her guitar and come and sit on the end of the bed and start playing her guitar and singing the great physician now is near the sympathizing Jesus and and by the time she got through singing I was well I had to get up and go to school and this was just how we grew up we didn't uh, we didn't go rushing off to the doctor every time something happened. And there were times when they felt they had to take us, and, and they would. They wouldn't let us suffer needlessly. But we just grew up in this atmosphere of trusting God and praying and believing God. And healing was a big part of it. You know, we, we believed in healing. And our church preached it, practiced it, prayed for the sick. We, we believed that God would heal people if they asked him and believed him for it. And so uh, I remember uh, early on in my childhood, before I was even saved, maybe I was 10 years old and somewhere in that area, uh, we had a little dog, a little half Chihuahua, half Pekingese uh, dog named Tiny. And uh, Tiny loved to chase cars. and. One day we were out playing in the yard and uh, several of the neighborhood kids were there. We never had grass in our yard because that's where everybody came to play. And uh, so our yard was, you know, like a dusty playground. <laughs> and uh, and so uh, a couple of my cousins were there. I believe it was Diana and Lola Thomason were there. And uh, Tiny decided she was going to chase a car. Well, the car ran over her. And so we run out to the street and we pick her up and she's uh, bleeding and there's a hip bone protruding through her skin. And so she was obviously very uh, severely wounded. And so we carried her around to the back of the house and laid her on the ground in front of her doghouse. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. And my dad always came home around six and we knew that if daddy came home and saw the dog with a broken hip and the bone sticking out through the skin and whatever that he would put the dog out of her misery that there was no such thing as taking a a dog to the vet uh, he would just you know put her out of her misery put a bullet in her head and uh, we knew that so we knew we had two hours to uh, figure out what to do. So we circled the doghouse and held hands and prayed for Tiny. Now, all of us still remember this event. There were several of us there and witnesses. And uh, when we get together, we still talk about this. But um, we prayed for God to heal Tiny before Daddy came home and killed her. <laughs> and... Uh, so while we're praying and realize, you know, we weren't saved. We weren't old enough to even know uh, 
what we were doing, really. We, we were just living out what we had seen our parents live before us. And so we called upon the name of the Lord for Tiny. And I kid you not, Tiny jumped up and ran back around the house and chased another car. And when Daddy came home and pulled into the driveway, Tiny was behind him barking and chasing his car into the driveway. And she was healed. Tiny lived to be 24 years old. Way beyond after I grew up, got married, and moved away. Tiny lived a long life and uh, chased cars. So growing up with this kind of uh, experience and with this kind in this kind of family where we just when first thing we do whenever there's trouble the first thing we would do was pray and man I've got memories of answered prayer that go all the way back even beyond my ability to remember all the details and so you can't tell me that God doesn't hear and answer prayer, especially the prayers of children. I hope that blesses you, and, and uh, I hope this memory stays alive beyond me because it's worth remembering. Right? All right. Goodbye.